Greetings and welcome back to Timberborn. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we have no power. Oh my gosh, I am really looking forward to getting rid of all of these things, but we can't make explosives if we don't have power. Sadness. All right, I'm going to put these beavers at work. These power wheels have been dormant for too long. I almost feel like having a separate power network for something like maybe for gears or something i don't know or for paper probably we need the explosives more than anything else uh because yeah we need explosives like crazy so anyway in this area here i think i'm going to figure out the priority of these guys and maybe just kind of normal priority them they probably are normal but i just want to do that anyway uh i can also let's also maybe put some more out here um let's see how do we want to do this exactly we want to do water 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 uh no yes uh maybe uh no <laughs> i do landscaping this water thing should be next to landscaping i feel but anyway that's just my own little little thingy thingy all right so that's gonna give us a little bit more space um have a bit of an outline to this that seems okay we are uh, just starting actually into the next uh, rainy season, so that's pretty exciting. Now this area looks really nice, and wow, god, this map is enormous. This could be amazing to have just like a water generation district, that kind of thing. Um, what I was thinking, however, is maybe improving our water storage here. Let's go ahead and pause the irrigation towers because they are a major drain on our water uh our water retention shall we say um i'm thinking i want to just delete these crops here and add more of these water pumps along the edge of the bank here or along the bank not quite the edge of the bank maybe the edge part of anyway uh yeah we're gonna add a road as well <laughs> and then add some platforms here we need the two high platforms right over there and let's just count them out that's one two one two two more and then do we want to build it that close to the bridge i don't know maybe not maybe we'll leave it um and i think i also want to add water tanks here so let's kind of get rid of some of these berry bushes even though they're very pretty and maybe i should put some more around the colony as decorative things um what we could do is uh maybe artificially make this area uh, green with a little uh, cheaty pond and then <laughs> and then get to it that way I don't know maybe that's the idea that we need to do anyway we have tons and tons of everything 4,000 bread in our entire colony system that's lots lots and lots let's get rid of these as well and hopefully we're going to get some of the stuff going. Look at these things. Look at they're running at 3% efficiency. It's going to take them three years to produce anything. So having those beavers working is kind of, kind of useless. I really feel, okay, here we go. At least the wind picked up at some point during this day. That's good. Wow. We have more than enough to power once these windmills are running, but yeah, just getting them running is the struggle, I feel. Let's look at the gearing here and see what's happening. It does look like we need to have uh, some more of these things put in place. Um, let's get a power shaft here to connect to the one going upward. So that gives us more uh, connection with this one because that one's already built. And this one needs to be built as well so this gear workshop can start running. We are only five gears short, so that's good. But in the meantime, the beavers should be working on other things as well. It looks like we have quite a lot of carrots. We might need another farmhouse here because it looks like this one might not be sufficient for gathering all this stuff. Um, let's see, how many people... Do we have 24 unemployed beavers right now? Hmm. Kind of feel like maybe we need more workers, or maybe we... I don't know what we need. We need a constant power supply. I think that is the basic, serious thing that we need. Um, hmm. Uh, let's see. Let us see... 
right just kind of looking around seeing what we're we're doing here are these both yeah we have one harvesting one planting that's good now nah, oh look what we got hooray all right so we've already <laughs> filled up some of it i want to let's we don't need to empty it i think we just want to do none and then we want to do what do we have in here carrots lots of carrots let's do carrots um because that is the one we're actually producing right now the wheat and potatoes are not actually made yet so we need to start getting those and we said we were going to do those right now uh now that we have the canal already dug and we have this space kind of set aside for that kind of stuff we do have a tiny bit of cropland up here but i'm not sure if we'll actually use it we could potentially put a farmer uh farmer's buildings here and then have uh them kind of share this land uh, but i don't know exactly what we want to do just yet so let's put in a couple more platforms for them to cross over this canal um yeah we can just do that Mm -hmm. that's good actually we could just do this instead maybe and kind of space them out a little bit more evenly and that way we'll have room for our farmers to go across the canals and life is going to be better for them hooray now we did not quite buy our monument and i kind of forgot about that so let's go ahead and get this look how huge of an area this monument covers it is immense just immense is the word for it so what we could do is i'm thinking we have we could share the area here if we wanted to like put this in this pond and i think that's actually maybe that's the play here maybe we build maybe we build platforms here off this island i like that idea actually i i really do so this is a three by three monument i think all of the monuments are but this thing also needs 600 horsepower hmm? So that requires horsepower, which is power that we don't have right now. <laughs> it's going to need two full windmills worth of power. So that's going to be something uh, which I com conveniently forgot about, which obviously is not that convenient when you think about it. So I think I'm going to have to try to fit that in over here. Let's see if we can place this thing and what this is going to look like in terms of wind power so does it matter i guess it doesn't matter where the power comes from like which side it is so let's just put that there um but power is gonna be a pain in the socks isn't it oh dear oh dear maybe we can't put it maybe we shouldn't put it here i mean not not can't but shouldn't um it could be that we could place some windmills within the forest maybe that's a thing can we do that? Um, hmm. Let's see. We need two at the least. Um, kind of thinking, should we move this forester to the side? Like two over to be over there? Okay, let's just... Let's just delete all the things here. I want to delete some buildings. Let's delete the beehive. No, actually, you know, let's let's delete the trees right now and see where we can place these windmills and if they fit into this area. We have plenty of trees. We don't have to worry about them completely, you know, dying off or we have we just have plenty and, and the lumber yard is absolutely full of them. Let's go ahead and pause this production just because we're not going to get stuff back if we build it and then we have to tear it down and build it somewhere else. So I want to make sure that we can get all the things ready for this instead so let's just hope these beavers work on the trees and uh, get those cut down as quickly as possible of course yeah they're, they're not going to do it in their leisure time so we'll just have to kind of wait for them to to get through that they are going to the grounds and having fun let's see the social score right now or the something score of our beavers we now have social life is much higher. I think it was more like 75 or something. Knowledge is, um, is it the same or it might be a tiny bit higher? I'm not sure, but fun is still on the, on the low side. I think fun is going to be on the low side everywhere because I think that carousel doesn't, uh, oh no, it's well, it, yeah, it doesn't satisfy the entire colony, but it is more than half. So if we build a second one, then we'll be all set, I think. All right. So... 
Let's go ahead, beavers, work this stuff, please. Get those cut down. I want to make sure that we can access this building here. Um, I also may need a bridge here for the power shaft for this stuff, but I just want to see like how close we can put these things. Yeah, and they are not working next to this forestry building or next to the beehive. So let's get rid of the beehive for now. And I think I'm going to delete the forestry building as much as I don't really want to because it's been here for ages. But I don't think it really matters that much. I think we can just move it and it'll be fine. Let's go there, delete, and then we're going to actually delete this part and put the forestry building here, I think. That's going to be the plan for now. And in the meantime, probably we're going to need a little bridgey bridgey to connect power to this structure. Now, there is another option, of course, where we could put power underground and or we could. Well, actually, there is there is a possibility for that. OK, so if we. If we. Could delete, we could delete this, this road, because there's nothing going there. Let's delete that. Could put power here, down here. Uh, we could go down and then down under the road. And we could actually put power under the roads. How do we feel about that? I kind of think it's too far. I don't really want to dig up that many roads. And I also like the roads looking like roads. I really don't want to, like, put boardwalks in this city right now. I don't think that's a good... I, I just know. I don't, I don't like the aesthetic of that right now. So let me change this instead and just um, delete some of the things we need to, like, these roads have to be deleted. What we can do is do a central kind of bridgey thing with a shaft underneath. Let's just do this and that and have the shaft going into this because I think it has to connect on the bottom. I'm not quite sure. I haven't... Uh, built this one uh, with power before. So let's just add that, have this, add our pathway, and boom. That's going to look, that looks pretty nice actually. And now we need to figure out all of the wind machines and stuff and things. So let's put in first, we need our forester's hut first, because that is absolutely necessary for this build. We need to get that in, make sure that we can still plant trees. Okay, done. One thing done. Now then, um, now we need our power. So windmills. Okay. Uh, hello. Wow. Okay. So they can't be near trees either. That is not convenient very, or very much. Um, okay. If these do 300 power, I guess we could do three windmills. Uh, hmm. Does this still work there, though? Let's let's make sure they let's build the bridgey bridgey first. Let's make sure we do that. Let's make sure this bridge is built because I want to make sure that these windmills will work, and we'll do all the things before we get there. Now these are only going to produce enough power if uh, they're working at. 300, you know, full power. So we might need three windmills. This one is at 235 right now. So I'm thinking three windmills are needed. Uh, okay. Okay, they do actually work there. Wow. Okay. That's fine. I think I'm going to do this. Uh, okay. Mm, does that actually work there? Really? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to do something else. We're going to do this and we're going to have the bridge a little bit uh, to the side instead. It's not going to be centered because this just doesn't work. Uh, I don't think that this shaft is actually going to go through that windmill. I think it only comes off on one side. Because if you look at the windmill, there's only one output circle thingy. The other sides don't have that, unfortunately. So I think this is a kind of a wasted bridge that we made here. So we're just going to delete that again. And... Uh, no? Hello? Uh, her? Her? How? 
Okay, sure. We'll just, yeah, well, fine. <laughs> Weird. Weird thingy thingy. Why you do? All right, let's do one here instead. And then we will get our power shaft intersections happening there. And put in another windmill right there. All right, and trying it out. Let's get the shaft where it needs to go. Let's put that one there and then do the bridgey bridgey. Actually, we need the shaft first and then we do the bridges. Okay, get rid of this because we already connected it there. We can actually do the rest of the shafts as well, I think. There we go. Wow, this is this is an impressive monument right in front of the forest. It's a little bit strange, but hopefully it works nicely. Okay, let's get more of that going on. And I can also do the platform on top with the road. And I can start replanting these trees as well because I think that we can get those working. Okay, let's go a birch tree and then we'll get our pines here. Can we do more? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see if this works. Looks like we can do them after. Hmm. Apparently we can't do them before, but that's fine, right? It's just fine. Okay, so there we go. We have trees now happening. And hopefully our peeps work on these things. All right, little beaver builders. Go, go, go. Okay, so this is functioning now. We now have more explosives and we now have more gears happening. Hooray. All right, what is going on here? Hello? Power? Why don't you have po power? Mm. Yes, because... Um, I, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about it. No, help. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. That doesn't work because we need power on this side. Err. How do I fix that? That's going to be fun. Well, hmm. Could do something sneaky, I guess. If I do a... How do I do that? I, I, I have ideas. Like, I could put this, like, excavate the road here and put the power underneath and connect up here, maybe. Um, Because there's a door here, so you can't just drop down and connect it to there. So that's a bit inconvenient. Otherwise, there's no other way to connect this. That is most unfortunate. Jeez, I can't believe I forgot that. But then again, you can't really drop because you need two tiles and... Huh... Nope, that'd be a bad design. That is not good. Uh, okay, I'm going to pause that one since it's not functioning. Don't need a worker there. Let's get back to our current project of windmilling stuff. Okay, so this is good. Now let's get stairs happening. I'm surprised more of this wasn't done. Okay, let me just put a rush order on these items here. Not that it needs to be rushed, because it's just like, hey, more decorations! Yay! Uh, alright, so, hmm. Yeah, I don't think, even if I add the power here, I don't think that's gonna work, is it? Drat. Can I? No, I can't do that either. Darn it. I was gonna maybe move, I could move this back, potentially, but I can't actually move it back, because I don't think you can build on top of it. It's not a solid building, and it's still too tall for that road there. Huh, the sigh is actually real, right now. Real size happening here. I guess we just delete this, and maybe put in a different building right there. And I guess we need to have a... A different power building. Maybe it needs to go like here. I think that would work. Let's see. We could put this printing press. No, not printing. We need paper. So paper would work there if I deleted this cliff. So let's just do that. Let's delete that cliff. Uh, right here. There we go. Let's get that. And is this reachable? Maybe. Probably. Possibly. Potentially. <laughs> yes, it is. It is good. Okay, fantastic. All right, so this is happening. 
trees are happening, but can we actually build these windmills with those trees around it? We don't know yet. Everything is boiling down to gears. Gears are making our world not turn at the moment because we don't have enough of them. Oh, hello. Are we done with all this? Yeah. Look at that. Everything except for the trench, which is kind of cool. Let's just deconstruct this whole area. Boom. Beautiful. And you know what that means? I know what that means. It means great things for us. Hooray. Because now let's go ahead and build our stairs down here. Go, go, go. There we are. And it means we can finally have water wheels again. Does this water flow fast enough, however? I don't know. So this is a question for us where we might need to, um, to make the channel smaller so that the water wheels will work better. Oh no, it is flowing. Look at this, it is flowing. So I think we have a good chance here. All right, we need to raise the level up a tiny bit. So that's one and two water wheels. Actually, let's put them separately. And maybe what we do is we put in some levees here. So the water actually does flow faster. Um, yeah, maybe we put a levee in the middle right there. Let's try that. Let's actually do that. I think that might be what we want to do here, which is kind of silly. I guess we don't need to delete it before putting a levee in there, but it's fine it may help i don't think uh i think that the water well right now it's not fast enough that's for sure well maybe it is i don't know it's really hard to tell uh to be perfectly honest but let's see what we can do here let me get uh levy materials which is a it's in this category there we go and we'll just do two levy pieces there so it's just at current level and that will narrow the stream somewhat and hopefully allow the water to flow better it's very slow very slow but maybe maybe it'll work let's see we'll try it if anything we might need just need to open up this more as in maybe this thing these gates need to be down to two and a half instead and so there's more area where the water can get through so that is there. It might also be that there's just not enough water coming in uh, because we currently have just one small source providing all the water everywhere. And I think that might be a tiny bit of a problem because it's filling up this reservoir. It's, you know, and we're using water all the time. So all of that stuff really matters. All right, let's get power here. Get the water, water wheels. Not that one this one thank you thank you and get a gear shaft uh hello hi hi okay that one needs to be a too high one um is that correct it looks correct okay very nice and We'll put the water wheels as low priority, or at least one of them. Uh, so that we build all the platforms and the shafts first. Okay, that works. Uh, and this can also be detonated. And then I guess we just work on detonating this stuff as well. Deleting all the stuffs. Uh, hopefully, what we can have is a few more of these power wheels. I would really like to have more water. Uh, but the flow is going to be really critical, and I don't know if we even have that. It's looking pretty darn slow. Because, let's see, this is quite shallow here. Does this flow out into the world? Uh, yeah, it does, but it's a very long way away. I'm wondering if... Maybe we, we don't, we should have not flooded the other area. Maybe that's the drawback here. Maybe we're just never going to get enough power. Or maybe it's a situation where we need to take power from the higher flow areas. Like, like this is not flowing at all. Um, 
this dam, maybe this is an unnecessary dam that we don't need. It's creating a tiny bit of flow, but that stuff is also going into this area. Um, this is not moving elsewhere, so that's kind of a dead end. So this is the only way it can come out this way. Uh, but it's still pretty slow. Oh, we have this area. Wait, hold on. How did this get flooded? No! Wait, what happened? We had a dam up here, didn't we? Where? Oh, okay. So maybe we need to, instead of having a dam here, maybe we need a levee. Maybe we need to completely block off this area. And so the flow goes the other direction. And I think that might be the solution to this problem here. Okay, let's pull, build a levee over here and send in some beavers. I don't know if we still have stuff sent here or not. Um, let's see, bread, logs, and water. So let's see, do we still have stuff sent to District 3? Yes, we do. Bread and water and logs. So let's send some beavers as well. Um, all right, so send to District 3. And we'll send four beavers. Migrate. Okay, so these beavers, there isn't enough housing for them. Poor things. One's going to have to sleep on the ground, but it's fine. It's fine. So they're going to be building these this levee here. I think this is where all of our flow is going. And alternatively, we could actually use this channel because it is very fast. You see how much power there is in this. Maybe we just put water wheels all up and down this thing. That is another solution for us. So... Anyway, we just need logs there. Let's just make sure we are transferring logs. I want to just check instead of... Oh yeah, we have logs instead of planks because we don't need the planks for anything right now. And that should improve this flow. Yeah, this levee ain't doing anything. This is so low. Yeah, so low. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> That's the words we're using right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not good times. Definitely not good times. Anyway, we could, uh, I think I, I'll put a road underneath this area. Let's just connect that and go through here just to make sure that we have enough uh, building area for our beavers. And I'll go ahead and just detonate these things when that other beaver moves. Go. Because I believe they can get killed by explosions and that's kind of horrible. It's like, no. Don't kill our beavers. Nigh. Help. 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 Okay, these beavers are still working on stuff. They've built two pieces of this levee. Now, please note that um, I've heard reports of water sneaking through diagonals. So that's why I also put another levee block over there. Because we don't want it to sneak. Now, what we could do also is we could flood this reservoir. But we have to dam this part of it uh, first. So there are, yeah, many, many things that we can do, but it's kind of lots of stuff to do. Oh, wow. Whoa, look at this. We have power. Happy days. Look at that. Okay, and that is because why? Is that probably because there's not enough flow here that this stuff is actually flowing this way? Okay, well, let's try that and see how that works. Oh, all the beavers working their tails off. Ain't it good? It is indeed. And we can also start preparing for more water wheels because I think we definitely want as many water wheels as we can uh, get. This game is not re like real life. I believe that if we use the power for water or power of water... Uh, we don't lose energy, which is definitely not like real life, but still happens in Beaverland. So we can put as many water wheels as we want, I think. Okay, that's interesting. So deleting that made that one stop. I wonder if the water flow kind of goes up and down? I don't know. I actually don't know the answer to that question. It's a, it's a curiosity, though, for sure. Okay, let's start building more platforms here. One, two, three, four. Yep. And here and there. And I'm going to just connect all of these together. So let's see what we want to do here. We need to... Oh, we need to connect this emergently. Oh, dear. Okay. 
So that's a bit of a problem. We have that issue. Uh, I guess what we need to do is actually get a staircase since that did not connect. And we need to fix this. And let's put a temporary staircase there for that. Because obviously that does need to get done. And we can start putting in other water wheels. Because water is such a reliable source when it gets going properly. It's nice. It's very nice. Okay, so this one is a bit not great. But we're going to fix it. We're going to fix this. So see, that goes here and maybe there. Yeah. And then I'm just going to connect them on this side, I think. Let's see, two's there, two's here. And get these other... Let's see, put this one on the lowest. Or even pause. I'm going to pause these other side ones because we just got to get those other things done first. And the ironic thing, of course, is that <laughs> we have drought in a couple of days. It's like, no, help. Help. Okay, water is completely stopped here. Completely stopped. All right, so let's move these beavers back. Want to send them back to Sparkling River. All of them. Uh, yeah, four. My great. And that should mean that this area has nobody. It should have nobody. Nobody in here. Okay. Very good. That's what we want. They were on assignment and then they moved. Okay, so this... Wow, look at how fast this river is now. This is kind of crazy. Really crazy fast. We might want to keep this river going straight as long as possible so that these water wheels on the left get as much as they can. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a levee there where we have just destroyed things with dynamite. Mm -hmm. I, I just hadn't thought about this before. And yeah, that was uh, an inconvenience for sure. But we'll get it fixed. We'll, we'll try. So in the meantime, I think we need to clear out some of this dynamite. Let's delete these for now. Um, and maybe use this natural area to create a... Levy. Let's go levy here. And do we want to delete these blocks? Or maybe we should just move our water wheels over one? Maybe that's what we want to do. Yeah, let's do that instead. Because I don't really like altering the shoreline. It's not my favorite thing. So let's move that levy right down this way. Uh, help. Um, where? Here. Okay. Very good. Now, there, let's put it here then instead. That, I feel, would be a little bit better for getting the power still working there. We could even put the levee blocks all in this area, like along the center. So that's that's another option, but let's just do things one at a time and see if we can get stuff working. So what's going on here? Hello? Building isn't connected to any district center by paths. Oh, gosh, I forgot about that. Okay, that's fine. And so obviously these were not working. Sad times, sad times. Oh, well, it's fine now. It's working. Do we need them, though? Nope. Let's turn them off. Let's turn off the power wheels. They don't get to be hamsters today. Um, all right, so let's turn off this one as well. We have a couple of these things around the place. Huh, now that's an idea. That's a possibility, actually, that you could put a power wheel next to one of these guys. Okay, let's just detonate this one and then do it again so that we have that on the bottom. Okay, and this is not ready yet. Okay. We're going to get it ready, though. We're getting this sorted. Okay, so this is done. So delete that. Meanwhile, Beaver's working on stuff. Very good. Good Beavers. Hooray. And then let us put in a power shaft intersection. I guess we just need a right angle one for this one. Doesn't need to be fancy. 
these beavers are yeah they are able to basically harvest this entire thing if we need it i think we have tons of wood we have 210 wood so that's good we are getting massive amounts of power here let's check out our windmills okay we have one in place what's going on with this one can't get all materials okay we are working on the next one though so yay that's gonna get done i'm i'm quite happy about this okay so fun how are we doing on fun in this uh in this world here 42 of 129 so we definitely need more we need more social life too um that's the hard part is like figuring out where to put some of these structures I'm not sure if I should have like a monument here. We could look at the second monument. It is, let's see, 3,000 science points. We can afford this. Does it need power? No, it needs the, it is the flame of progress. Wow, okay. We can put that in a two square, which is very nice. However, there's only one three square, three by three, and it's surrounded by two twos. So that's not ideal. Can we do this? Yes, we can. That's actually not bad. It has very good coverage, and that's really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that hits all the houses. Uh, it doesn't hit that house, though. Eh. Eh. Okay, that would work if I put it there. But then I don't have a 3x3. Three three. But I could make a 3x3. Three three. That's possible. Alright. Yeah, let's do that. We just want to hit the most people with this uh, stuff. Here, I think we can dynamite that. Let's just do that. And there we have a 3x3 three three and we can make a campfire or something. I think that's what we want to do there. Let's see. Um, let's get our dynamite. There we go. Right there. And how's this dynamite doing? Not there yet. Okay. It's getting there. Okay, so let's see. We have this shaft. That is perfect. Let's get this shaft going. All right, power, shaft, go. And this one, let's just prioritize some of these things. Let's go there and prioritize that one, please. So these things get done. Yeah, okay, so that one is done. Now we need... A four-way right there. So let's prioritize this. Okay. The yay is real. We are starting to yay over here. And then we can build some of this out. And then we just need to connect them there. And that way we're going to have six new water wheels. Isn't that not great? We are seem to have even more than six. Because I want to do two more down here. So we'll have eight total. But we do need to get this uh, these dynamites going on before that happens I guess we could preliminarily start building some of these platforms that's available to us let's see platform go there and there and there actually and you could go there okay now here let's go and check on the rest of our world we have 0.1 day and then we have a drought now, I wonder if we should use the magic of uh, a magic pool of water up here just to make this area green. It seems very strange to me that the temple is... I like to have them on the mount because it seems very, like, religiously oriented. But they're also in the middle of a desert. <laughs> so it's very, very weird. Um, oh, God, no! Help! Oh, I forgot. Oh, I wish you could pre-sort warehouses. Sad times. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Allowed none. Allowed none. Is this full yet? No. Okay, so none. Okay, let's figure this out. This one is carrots. Let's make this one bread. And this one is going to be uh, grilled potatoes. Yeah. Now this one, let's make this one to be wheat. Uh, and we can cook the bread up here, maybe. Let's do the wheat here. Wheat, wheat, wheat. Okay, wheat goes there. And then this one is going to be regular potatoes. There we go. Gosh, we have so much stuff stored. Random stuff stored here. This is not what I wanted. Oi. Yeah, it's because we were distracted in the other area. All right. We decided this one was going to be wheat, I think. So let us build some bakeries, 
out here and also we're gonna need power for the first time now there's no flow here i think let's just check yeah this is like slow so slow flow mo it ain't working now we are kind of barely trickling into these areas but definitely not over here and maybe we need to actually lower the floodgate so that we do get some flow and maybe we can rely on some water power instead huh i kind of want to explore that and just see okay if we yeah lower those hello uh maybe no maybe we don't have enough water but maybe we just save it for the main city you know that could be a thing so yeah this these waters are much lower and we just started the drought so it wasn't drought causing that it just never went over the top i think the flow is so high down this area that that's why we had those uh those things happening all right so let's turn this on and turn it on high and then we can get rid of the staircase and build another one. Oh, this is not <laughs> this is <laughs> hello my why no <laughs> oh sad times oh my god this is um i don't even know what to do about this this is terrible how can you tell which is the correct way oh i don't like that at all oh yeah 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 why is this going that way game why do you have to do this to me do you not know that this is completely anti-factorio this is anti-physics that you're doing with this to us nai actually this is the only one going the correct way isn't it these are the ones going backward <laughs> i can't remember if they were all going the same way when the water was flowing maybe maybe this is this is magic this is magical waters from from the the, the magical waters yeah we're just gonna go with that how about that mm-hmm Yes, it's a thing. Okay, we're just gonna go with that. Oh my god. Help, why? The suffering is real. Okay, the flame of progress is also real. So that's gonna come over soon. All right, let's get this out of here and finally make our paper plant because that kind of uh, took a while to get that stuff delivered. So now finally we're able to get this. And then we're gonna have this, so yay. Okay, the yay is actually real. Oh, wow. So now some of them are running and one of them is not running. Uh, this is very, makes you kind of slightly ill, you know? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, anyway, let's go with uh, getting some food stuff made over here. We need some bakeries. I think we'll do, we'll start out here. And just put them up this way and I'm gonna put a road here and then we need a grist mill and wind mines we need lots of wind mines here so I'm thinking maybe we take power maybe we just have a series of buildings along here and then the power up top because we could do a power thing here like a stepped power situation like that kind of uh yeah let's do that and then let's do a thing like this i don't know if they can stand on the stairs and help this or not so that's gonna be the plan but let's try to do that let's try to make a maybe we'll have the road going there like along this side and then buildings can be here as they kind of fit in perhaps okay oh this is nice there we go okay so let us add a grist mill here let's pause one of the bakeries there we go okay and there's plenty of room for this grist mill so let's just place it right here and we'll get our walkway there and then we need to add power shafts along this length here. So what I'm going to do is I think I'll put them... I don't know which way to put them, honestly. Um, if we do some wood making thingies, those will fit exactly here. I think we can just cut the power when we want to cut the power. 
I think that's the way we do it. So we can have like, I'm wondering if we should do like our own bookmaking in each area. I think that would really take the pressure off the main place, the main base, because we do have books shipped to um, this place, which I forgot the name of. It's Shredderton. Yeah, oh, that's right. Shredderton. We have those made there. So, all right, let's just do a very simple straight power shaft, straight power shaft and corner. And then we'll add buildings in as we need them. And then we can look and make some of these grills. Yay. So potato grills incoming. I guess this one will have to be there because we want to get that road around this area. And po uh, potentially we can actually add this road and having going down there and have another connection like that. It's a nice little thing to do. Okay, this is fantastic. Kind of great. Do we have uh, a lack of people? Unemployed nine. No, we do not have a lack of people. Looks like the... These... Uh, what, what is going on here? Oh, no. I thought there were no trees in range, but it's no path in range. No. Okay. All right. It's fine. It's fine. We do not worry about this. We need to delete this. Yes. Delete this. Yes. We'll try to get that going. Let's plant more maples. Plant one there. Looks like we haven't actually planted any on this shelf. The water hasn't gotten low enough for us to do so. So that kind of is like, huh, maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe it's not a thing that uh, is working. I don't know. Let's see. Let's mark this as a high priority, please. And then I really want to get in the lumberjack because these trees could have already been salvaged or planted by now. Okay, it looks like they can't get up there either. Okay, there we go. So maybe here we can just delete and delete there. Maybe I'll do three and do two stairs. I know that seems strange, but this since this area is less planted, if I put a stair here, that deletes one part of this. But this one will delete none of it because it looks like they're not even getting to that bottom level of doing stuff. So I think that should be a better thing there. Okay, things are happening, finally. We're gonna have more jobs for our beavers here shortly. Let me check the, uh, it looks like all of the food places are full, but just to check. Yeah, we have cabillions of food here. We have everything. We just have everything we need in these places. We are doing really well with our colonies. It's good. It's really good. Let's see, did we, oh, we didn't actually plan this yet. Okay, so let's just set up a large water tank here. That's what we were going to do previously. I think I got really just kind of obsessed with those water wheels. So I didn't get to do the other things. <laughs> All right, let's put in a couple of water pumps. Let's do three water pumps there and our road. I want to connect this along that shore. Kind of been waiting to do that. It's been a long time in coming, but there it is. And here, what do we want to do? Let's just plant, maybe plant some more um, crops, uh, I think. Let's just do that. Let's get our potato crops. There we go. All right. And I don't actually think we need any more crops because I think our food is like completely overflowing. It's, it's, yeah, the stuff beavers dreams are made of. Absolutely. All right. Let's get these things working as well. We need one more shaft here since those are done we can complete that and they're working they're working on stuff just logs needed for that wow this is cool our beavers are really very industrious critters aren't they all right so what's going on now we have this windmill done this thing needs a cabillion of everything i don't actually want to build it uh we could just press play and put it on down priority and i think that would be better Okay, so this got made. Let's go and delete that part. Put in another thing of dynamite here, but I think we might need stairs for that. So I wanna add those. 
at the very least one set of stairs. But I think they can reach it even if it's two up, maybe? Let's try that. Let's try and see if they can do that. It did work when we were doing the shafts on the water wheels, so I'm hopeful. Like these, they had to stand on this platform to reach up uh, to get those uh, pieces done. So maybe it'll work. I'm hoping it will. But in the meantime, I, I did start this because they can build, they can add stuff like planks, which we have uh, a few of. We have 91 planks and... They can also just add whatever they've got, like the metal blocks and things like that. Looks like we don't have... Oh no, we have 326 metal blocks. That's a lot. <laughs> really a lot. Oh, this is so pretty, this flame. I love it. All right, let's add a flame over here. Let's do flaming things over here. Let's... <laughs> Flitty. Oh, and we were going to build this thing. Ah, yes, but it needs power. That's right. We had We had conundrums over everything. I remember this. And we ended up not building it anywhere near here. That was the biggest surprise for me. Okay, what have we got going on here? Huh. We could... I don't know where to put this because it does require so much power. It's a bit wild with that. I could just connect it here. I mean, we could put this uh, mechanical wonder right out here, maybe and connect it to our main power supply of these massive amounts of windmills. Because I don't think most of these are actually running. I think they're not even using power. So it probably would be functional. Let's see. How would it look if we put it right back there? If we put it like here, that would be okay. We could put it kind of in the center of this water. Maybe on a like a high platform or something. Maybe that's the thing. Okay, let's do that. Let's just put it on a, uh, on a, maybe a triple platform here in the middle of the water. Let's see. One, two. Okay, we need three and three. So like there maybe? Or there? Let's see. Let's try this and see what that looks like. Uh, hello? There we go. It definitely stands out. I think it's too tall. I think I want smaller platforms. So let's just try that okay i think the double is probably going to be the nice the best one that we want to use let's try this how's it going to look oh that's nice i kind of like that that's good and it kind of is like a lead to the temple a bit. So that's good. I think that's what's going to work for us. Now, uh, let's add that. And we're going to have it face. Which way do we want it to face? Let's go and rotate this. We could have it facing sideways. I don't even know what the animation is like on this. So I'm kind of like, I have no clue. We could face it forward though. Um, maybe. Or sideways. Let's do it sideways. Because I, we have the other one facing front uh, from our general perspective. So I think this might be the way to go with this. All right, let's get power here as well. I'm going to just do some work this away. And I think we just need to build a couple of platforms. We can make them temporary. Like one here and one there so the beavers can walk and, and make this thing. Because I don't think they can get through that diagonal. It would be a hard squeeze with the logs. That's for sure. Okay. Okay. Working. Things are happening. Life is okay. Um, I just looked at these and I'm like, huh, why am I not using this? It's because it takes up space where water could be. Yep. That's why we're not using that. And uh, it looks like, oh, our crops are drying out. So we need to turn these guys on. Though, though, you know what? I'm not going to turn them on. I think we have enough food to survive the drought. I think there's plenty of food. I don't think we need any. Um, even if those crops die, I'm not bothered. I don't think we need it at all. And this area, look at this massive area of crops that's being supplied just by this lake up here. It's really working well. I think it's kind of great. Why is this one always leaking water? I don't really understand that, actually. Why is that not working well? It's a regular dam. Maybe it's just water level higher. It is water level higher, actually. Huh. 
So anyway, uh, I think that's probably going to do that. Do this episode for us. We're finished uh, for today. I don't know why I say do this episode, but yeah. Anyway, it is done. Um, so I'm hoping you are enjoying this. I can't wait to see these monuments in action. They're going to be pretty darn cool. If we can get enough materials, that is the really hard part because of 200 gears. That's nuts amounts of stuff. Uh, also the, uh, the other amounts of stuff is, is crazy as well. You know, like having all those planks, we're lucky that we kind of have a backlog of stuff, but just even carrying 400 materials to this thing is quite a lot. I'm thinking about maybe building another hauling post. Actually, we can extend this hauling post. What am I thinking of? Uh, that way we'll get them to work. Do we have enough people working here at this hauling post? Maybe not. Let's go and... Oh, we ran out of people. We're going to have to build more houses. Too bad us, right? <laughs> I love building houses. So anyway, I'm really happy with uh, what's going on. And I hope you have enjoyed the episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>